So we started our journey by train. Union Station in DC to Penn Station in New York City is really just a three hour trip. So it's nothing to hop on a train from DC to New York and New York back in about three hours and you have your pick of a regular train or the Acela. So we're off on the train to New York City and we arrive in style and we check into the Archer Hotel and immediately we drop our bags and head up to the Sky Bar restaurant at the top of the building. It's a rooftop bar that has exquisite views of the city and it's the perfect spot for an afternoon of cocktails, looking out at the skyline, specifically the Empire State Building. And it was just a nice little rest stop after our long trip on the train. Now, to me, I gotta tell you guys, the food, the drinks, everything was top notch. And I always order a lemon drop martini everywhere I go these days. I don't know why, it's just my favorite drink right now. And this one was made to perfection. The sugar around the rim was everything and it was just a nice little way to begin our trip. And the food, oh my God, the food was so good. We had these peppers here and we also had burgers and rosemary fries. These rosemary fries were everything. Honestly, I wanted to go back again. So after we left there, we took a little bit of a break, a little champagne break, if you will, before we headed out to our first spot of the night. And as you guys see, I have my favorite champagne, which is Vuv, because it doesn't give me a headache. So we finally get to BBQ's, the spot we always go to on a Friday night when we get to New York City. Now, some people may think it's very touristy, but personally, I think it's the perfect way to start your New York adventure. We went to the one, I believe it's near Chelsea. And then the next day, it's time to start our day and head off on a Saturday fun day in New York City. And where are we headed to today? It's called Il Bastardo. And it was honestly not that far from the restaurant, well, from our hotel, but I gotta tell you, this place is different. This place, they give you your own bottle of champagne that comes with the meal. Oh yeah, so you know your boy had to order the Vuv Clico, okay? Um, and they also give you these great straws that come with it. Now I gotta tell you guys, the food at Il Bastardo was amazing. It's a prefix menu and I got the steak and eggs and a side of bacon. Now, as you guys can see, it's a pretty celebratory atmosphere. Everybody gets their own bottles. They even let us test some champagne that they thought that we might like in just in case that we wanted something different. Then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, because the music is playing at full volume, it turns into a straight up party, okay? I'm talking party. Now, every restaurant that I went to in New York City, they did ask for your vaccination card before you enter. So if you have any concerns about that, definitely either have a picture of it or bring it with you. New York has this great app for that. But let me tell you, the party was in Sane, okay? This just gives you a little bit of a clue of what a good time we had. And I was not expecting it at all, but I definitely got my fill of my champagne for that, okay? And so then we're off for our next destination. We actually hit up a hookah spot in between going to, from brunch to our spot on the rooftop at the Standard Hotel. Tell. Oh, yes. Now, this rooftop overlooks the city, the skyline, the river, the man made island that's between the um, hotel and the river. And the, I guess it's, I guess that would be considered New Jersey, right? But let me tell you something the drinks were great here as well. It was a day of drinking and a night of looking at this amazing view of New York City at night on a rooftop in the middle of the city, okay? It was perfect. I could not ask for a better night or better drinks. 
So next we're off to our final destination of the night. We had to get some more grub. We had to get some great Asian cuisine at Verlaine. Let me tell you something. I'd never heard of this spot before, but the food was magnificent. The vibe was chill. It was a perfect way to end a perfect night out on the town in New York City, okay? So, you know, we had to go get some rest that night and get up early and start our adventure for the next day. And it's Sunday morning. We have had an amazing weekend so far. I'm kind of sad that today's our last day. But we'll make it a good one. We're gonna go get some breakfast from this little spot that we saw yesterday. All right, so we actually ended up at a hookah spot for a little bit of a late afternoon brunch sort of evening session. These chicken wings were amazing. The seasoning on them was so good. I honestly cannot remember the name of this restaurant. If I find out about it later, I'm gonna put it down in the description down below, but I can't tell you how good these wings were and they were surprisingly good. I was not expecting the food to be so good here, but it was. And the chef even came out to specially prepare a dish for my homegirl because they went to high school together. And this just looks just lovely. She doesn't eat meat, so this was perfect for her. You know, on Sunday, we got to spend a little bit of time walking around the city, which was really nice because we hadn't really had much of a chance to walk around. And what do you know, there's the Mexican Day Parade going on not too far from the hotel. So this was kind of awesome to experience as well. And it just goes to show you never know what's going to happen in New York. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and be sure to subscribe for more.